In this video, I'm talking all about this really awesome trick that will help you clean up your audio editing. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Brooker Films, and in today's video, I'm talking all about this really awesome trick that you should know and you should start implementing when it comes to your audio editing. Now, it doesn't matter if you're shooting a interview, a video to camera for YouTube, or a short film with some dialogue, you should be using this technique. And that technique is simply the process of fading your audio in and out at the end of each take. So let's say we have a talking head video. So we've got some footage of me talking to the camera. Now each and every video will have its own audio file underneath. And typically when you throw these next to each other in the timeline, you'll have video and audio perfectly in sync with one another. And then right next to that with no gaps, you'll have another video with its audio file. Next to that one, you'll have another video and audio file and so on and so on. But in order to get really clean audio and to stop that popping sound that you get between each different audio take, we need to cross fade the audio. So in order to do this, you want to select every other audio clip on your timeline. So you want to select the first, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, and so on. Once you've selected all of these, drag these down onto audio layer two. So one clip will be on track one, the next clip will be on track two, then back up to one, two, one, two. Now at the end of every single audio clip, you want to drag it over to the right a little bit. And then you want to add a fade out at the end of all of these audio clips. Now you want to do the same thing for the start of all of these audio clips. You want to pull all of them back in time just by half a second and you want to add a very subtle fade in. Now, once you've done this to all of your audio clips, when you play this back, your audio is much cleaner. Now, before we did this audio fading technique, the audio would have been popping every time this shot changed and a new piece of audio came in. So by fading all of these audio files together, you're making this really seamless audio edit that's gonna be really nice and pleasant to listen to. It's a really simple tip, but it could be the difference between an amateur video and a professional video. So the next time you're working with audio files in your edit, make sure you're fading your audio files in and out and make sure you stagger them across two different audio layers. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.